that has the eugenics, bioethics, rationing of care, death panels in them that is written by foreign insurance companies to double and then triple and then quadruple over five years the average premium of healthy people that have been insured for decades like my dad and my mother. You've already seen a doubling now. And myself, it's gone up almost double for my family. And you say we package it this way so that Congress wouldn't know it was a tax so we could roll it through and transparency was key in getting it over on the dumb voters and the other professors are nodding. That is a criminal conspiracy. And that is a confession. I don't know of a grand jury out there that wouldn't say that it wasn't fraud to write reports and to go out and be a pundit. Remember, it was like seven, eight years ago, I was a Washington Post headline, GAO, General Accounting Office, rules that fake news is illegal. In fact, you can probably type in GAO rules, fake news is illegal. And it reported on tens of billions spent by the federal government, directed by the White House, but Congress was involved, to buy off the media behind the scenes to pay money to Fox News, CNN. Armstrong Williams was the one guy. They always pick one guy when a big corrupt story comes out. Oh, he got two hundred or $340,000 to go around on a syndicated radio show. And he's been on the show before. He's a pretty good guy. But he took that money to go and promote Head Start and say it was conservative to federalize education. It's through Head Start that Michelle Obama gets to tell your kids what to eat. Yeah, there it is. Washington Post. Administration rejects ruling on PR videos. GAO called tapes illegal propaganda. Man, my memory's good. 2005. I said six, seven years ago, though. My memory wasn't good on that. Okay, so time flies. I look up, it's like 2014, about 2015. I can't even believe it now. So when I say this is illegal... I'm ready to be sued. And knock on wood, I haven't been for defamation or slander or libel. I've had a few threats, and I've said, okay, here's my lawyers, here's our defense. They stick their tail between their legs because I'm ready to go to court with this guy. I'm ready to go to court with Obama. I'm ready to have them throw me in that briar patch any day. I know criminal activity when I see it. And when they sit up there on television and in print media, and say we lied to people and they're dumb. It's like Zuckerberg saying our users trust us. They're dumb effers. These people have made you billions of dollars, Zuckerberg. You sold them a pump and dump on your Facebook stock. You, you censor people. You manipulate. You claim you're free and open. You're not. You're a fraud. But you know what? It's your company, and you can have it in the terms and conditions and lawyers speak and cheat people and, and, and sell their data and use it, but it's not illegal. He admits to calling them dumb efforts. But when you work in the government and you take money to be in a commission and then you lie and deceive, is that not fraud? Is fraud not illegal? I want this professor prosecuted. And I'm going to make some phone calls and talk to some criminal lawyers I know and others and make sure I get all the proper terms straight. But, uh, I mean, just under the propaganda function to be paid to go out and deceive is illegal. GAO ruling, and there's a bunch of other federal and state rulings, not just a bureaucratic ruling. But everyone on their face knows that coming out and saying we lied to people to pass something that takes money from them, that's theft. Now, maybe this guy isn't consciously a racketeer. Because when you work with a bunch of other people for fraud, it's organized. It's racketeering. It's a racketeering practice. Maybe he doesn't know up in his little pinhead ivory tower as an economist what he's doing. Maybe there's an ignorance plea. But it's kind of like with murder. Okay, so it's manslaughter, Mac. You didn't know when you punched him in the face he'd fall over and hit his head on the curb. Doesn't matter. You're still liable. These people need to be punished.
He wants to parade around up there on television. It was originally on the university network system and then re-aired on C-SPAN, according to the reports I have. And then they want to run around and threaten Fox News to not air it, saying, we don't give you permission. Hey, you're a bunch of lawyers over there, jerks. We can't take an entire university transmission and try to sell DVDs of it as if anybody would want to buy that. But we can take the clip and put it in a film if we want as part of the context and sell it. Not that we want to do that. And we can sure play it on radio and TV to show what you said in a public forum on television about screwing us. There's a public interest and the public paid for the university. I would love that lawsuit. The court would cite you, double the attorney's fees, and time and damages. I know. The university's been threatening to sue people now who play the clip. Good. Sue me. I'm not a litigious person, but I will slap you down. I can't believe how stupid all these lawyers are. Or maybe they're not stupid. Maybe they think I'm dumb like what you call the public. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. I could be more corrupt and evil than all you combined, but I refuse to screw people. I refuse to sell out my honor. So I know all your tricks, you little rat. This is what Internet 2 is about, where corporations or universities, they get a lot of power in this. They can shut down administratively your website or your content just by claiming. Or if you do it three times, no judge, no jury, no, no adjudication, nothing, they will just ban you off the Internet forever. And you, that's why Obama announced the end of passcodes. That's why Obama came out and said, I'm directing that you use biometrics because then they can have you biometrically tied to the Internet. You won't be able to use your smartphone. You won't be able to use the Internet computers if they banned you from the Web. An Internet blacklist is what China is now going to biometrically working with Microsoft. This is their dastardly plan. Obama's cybersecurity advisor. Biometrics will replace passwords for safety's sake. It's for your safety. Baloney. It's to tax you and track you and control every aspect of your life. It's another racketeering fraud. It's racketeering when globally they get together with the car manufacturers and governments at these big trade agreement summits they have outside of law that now supersede our law according to their claims, and say, by the year 20, 20, uh, by the year 2008, 2008, you can look this up. That's why I stumble. I'm going to memory. By the year 2008, all cars globally must have the box that tracks everywhere you go, what you do, a record of service, everything. And now they're adding GPS to it in most cars. And then they announce we're going to tax you by the mile. That is an organized system outside of law, outside of regulation, outside of state or federal law being done by these people. There's USA Today. Black boxes for cars raise privacy concerns. <gasps> Magically, they're globally standardized. Magically, they started taxing people. In a trial program in New York, New York, Austin, Texas, and San Fran, Cisco. It's always the trendy areas. Oh, I really like it. Oh, I really like it. You see, and, and I'm only giving you a few examples. Mechanized, scientific, rolled out like aliens were doing it or something. This is a total rewrite of everything. A huge scientific takeover designed to hurt you and your family. Period. And you don't join with this, and then you're just part of the new aristocracy. You're part of the new elite. You're an aristocrat. No. It was Frank Herbert that said that every rebel is secretly a wannabe aristocrat, to paraphrase his quote. That's why I've had so many elites say to me, look, just join us. You'll get power. You'll get more with us. Just come on. You're a well of... Of, 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 you know, power and evil. I'm not bragging this kind of stuff I've been told. You just know you want to join us and you'll, you know, you're just a pit of ambition. You need it. No, I'm a pit of hating you. I'm a pit of not standing bullies. I'm a pit of loving humanity. I am what my name means, a defender of humanity. 
And I don't think that's something special. I don't understand why everybody likes to screw each other over and stab each other in the back. I won't be part of it. When they shovel me into my grave, never. And I don't want some nanotech blight to get out and kill the atmosphere. Some Andromeda strain that shows up in some laboratory. That's the real threat is the super science stuff that's now here that isn't science fiction at all. And what the elite are doing is out of control. They're out of control. And they are in control, but they are out of control. They are inept. <sighs> Toll free number to join us, 800 25 99231. First time callers, again, your chance to get involved on air, 800 25 99231. 800 25 99231. We are living in epic times. We are living in incredible times of change. The best of times, the worst of times, a tale of two cities. We are here.